Hello, this is Pavel Rajov. I'm an application scientist with Applied Photophysics. In this video, I will demonstrate how to adjust the drive volume for SX20 stop flow spectrometer in a sequential mixing mode. This mode allows for sequential mixing of three reagents with one another, which can be crucial for studying complex enzyme kinetics or other molecular processes involving more than two reactants. Here is our instrument in a single mixing configuration. To switch to sequential mode, just follow these basic steps. First, switch the reagent flow by disconnecting flow line from the leftmost syringe and attaching one end to the top of a four-way connector and the other end to the bottom. Second, install premix RAM on the right and replace the drive RAM with a flush RAM on the left. Both RAMs should be in a toolkit supplied with your instrument. Next, we adjust the total volume by turning volume adjuster underneath the stop syringe mechanism in the direction of the arrow. Typical drive volume in a single mixing mode, where the drive syringes have a volume of 2.5 mils, is around 120 microliters. And for sequential mixing, recommended total drive volume is 400 microliters. A full turn of the volume adjuster corresponds to about 30-40 microliters for a 2.5 mil stop syringe. This means that in order to increase the volume to 400 microliters, or by 280 microliters, you need to turn this adjuster about seven times. The easiest way to keep track is to pay attention to this grub screw hole. Sorry, we genuinely don't have a better name for it. After doing that, tighten the brake above the stop syringe to ensure correct pressure differentials between two pneumatically driven rams. Finally, go to ProData SX software, click on Setup, Switch to Sequential tab and click Enable checkbox. Here you can also adjust premix time delay, which we will have unchanged for this demo. The software may report this time in either seconds or milliseconds, depending on the version you're using, so be sure to know which one it is. After going through previous steps, it's time to check performance of the instrument. In order to do that, let's fill all four drive syringes with water. When we click Drive, We are now able to click on Profiles button. If you can't, it may show the following error. This is typical if you haven't adjusted volume correctly by missing a turn or two, or if you have residual air trapped in the system. So be sure to flush through with plenty of water after you have reconfigured flow lines. If your profile information is visible, let's proceed. In our previous video, where we calibrated drive volume for single mixing setup, the drive to volume showed about 120 microliters, as we would expect. Now we're seeing drive 1 and drive 2 volume. The first volume value is premix volume, which should be around 220 microliters, while drive 2 volume should be around 180 microliters to make up a total of 400 microliters. If your total volume is close to 400, great. Now you have to make sure your drive volumes are within a margin of error. If not, adjust the total volume first. In our case, I have purposefully overdialed it and need to reduce it. After adjusting total volume, I am going to adjust drive 1 volume to bring it closer to 220. Direction of adjustment is the same. After adjusting, repeat the run and look at drive profile. If they are correct, you can proceed with performing sequential mixing experiments. Don't forget to mark premix RAM and record the number of turns to go from single to sequential mixing to easily switch between the two modes in the future. You can also leave the premix RAM on the instrument if you like. Thank you for your attention. We hope this brief tutorial was helpful. Please visit our website photophysics.com to learn more about our SX20 stop loss spectrometer as well as other products and services and get in touch with our customer support team should you need any further assistance.